Hey guys, Boone Down South with you here today. Just gonna be a real quick short video. You know, I saw a while back that Bonafide released their Flex Wing, Flex Wings, if you will. And basically, what that is, is a product to help with the, uh, the way the boat wants to kind of turn. You get done paddling, whichever side you paddle on, the boat wants to kind of turn a little bit uh, and keep going in that direction of the turn. And so the Flex Wings are supposed to help with that. And I've noticed that a bunch when fishing this thing. Not a big deal when I'm going down a river, when I'm fishing a lake or pond or something like that. It's, it's a big deal. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. So stay tuned. Fish on, fish on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's a nice one there, huh? All right. So in the packet, I've got two of these. They're flexible plastic if you will came with a set of screws in case you lose some but i still have the ones i've, I've got good instruction sheet is really really simple on the back of your kayak you've got these skid plates i've already loosened this one up but these are skid plates from dragging across the ground and basically all you do phillips head screwdriver you take these two screws out you pop the skid plate out you're going to take your flex swing you're going to mount it down there it's going to sit in here like this and then put that back on uh, on top the skid thing back on top and screw it down in that's all you do and if you look at this this one's done already and again this is how this fits in it's very flexible so you can still pull the boat across and you won't have to worry about this but the concept when both of these are in the water is going to flow through and it's going to keep the boat tacking in the direction you want it to go in instead of changing back and forth to see what's going on that's it so of course the kayak's sitting upside down but that's the view that you've got of what these things do and that'll help the boat keep tracking. So we're going to uh, test that out and let you know how well it works. They've been on back order forever. They finally came in. So I've been waiting for months to get these. All right, don't know if you can hear me with the roar of the river back here, but uh, today's the first time I'm gonna try out the flex wings. So I've already showed you how they install and everything. So I didn't bring the rudder today. We're solely gonna rely on those flex wings and see the, the problem with the Bonafides is that last paddle you make the, the kayak does not want to track straight after that. It wants to continue with a turn, and the flex wings are supposed to solve that. So I ordered them when they came out. They're on back order for several months. I got them during the fall. Then I had my shoulder problem. I had surgery. This is the first time I've had it out. So going down the Little Pigeon River today and tomorrow. So we'll give you an update on how well I think they work, and we'll go from there. So stay tuned. All right, we're good. All right, guys. Yesterday we were out all day. I don't know about how good the flex wings work as far as stability. The water yesterday was really rough. It's up like a foot higher. Rapids were a lot worse. Not really any calm sections of the river really tested on. Had wind when we did get to the calm sections. But durability wise, I can attest for this. Um, we just drug them about 150 yards across this field down to here. So they look a little muddy down here and grassy because they were just mowing out here. But yesterday, Literally just grabbed the handle of that kayak and drug these across rocks on areas that we didn't want to kayak through. You know, didn't even think about this stuff. And all day long we were doing stuff like that, rough on these things. And they're just as fine as when I put them on. So durability's good. We're hoping today we're going to hit some calm water down the end. Once we get down past Sevierville, we'll let you know about how the, you know, how well the tracking is with these things on. So stay tuned. Well, what I can say is in this calm water, the boat is definitely tracking straight for me now. So uh, this is definitely, I think the flex wings are definitely helping out here. All right, so I'm out here on Boys Mill Lake today. It's about 58 degrees. Just get out here. I didn't bring, normally I bring a trail motor out here. I didn't bring that today or the rotor. Really want to try out these flex wings on a calm body of water. See how well I, I think they work. I've had them in the river now. I'm trying them here to see, you know, how it's going to go. So we're going to try that out and let you know. All right, guys, I spent all morning down at Boys Mill Lake trying out the flex wings. I didn't bring my rudder, didn't bring the trolling motor. So now I've been on the river scenario. I've been out on the lake. And my honest opinion is there might be some improvement with the flex wings. I noticed a little bit on the river time or two. But honestly, I think the improvement for flex wings is marginal. I don't think it's worth the money. Your best bet is to go with a rudder. The, when I use my rudder, it's way better as far as controlling the boat for the boat to track and everything else. So I put a link for the video I did for, the, for my uh, rudder setup. You, you know, they now sell one for 200 bucks. I think I had like 50 bucks into my setup, roughly. But I'll put a link there for you for that. But 
honestly, I just, I mean, it's a good idea, but the flex wings, I think any improvement's marginal, to be honest with you. I don't think it's worth the money. So that's my honest opinion after putting them on, testing it all out. So there you have it. Hit that like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Okay.